If you want to make a simple space shooter in Unity, follow these steps. To make a space shooter, you need to create a bullet object. I will also make it to be like a triangle, because that's my favorite shape. It will be smaller than the previous object. You should set its color to white in order to make it clearly visible, but you can set any color you want. But that's still not sufficient. You also need a spawn object, which is an empty game object, consisting of only transform. And the triangle bullet should have a 2D rigid body. The rigid body should be dynamic, not kinematic or static. Make sure to make a prefab of this object, and that object will be generated from the spawn point. So how to do that? Well, you have to make some changes in the C-sharp script. I will skip the part how to introduce the input system, because it's not necessary for this video. You can watch this video if you just want to learn how to implement the new input system. So let's move to the real script. Add a reference to the game object. Public game object arrow object. Add a public transform. Spawn object. And the last thing you need to have is the shooting speed, which is a float. Introduce the new input system, which was explained in the previous video. I don't have to explain it now. I will put the integration to speed up the process. You should do it in the same way as explained in the previous video. After introduction, go to the void on shoot and add these lines of code. Game object arrow. It is the line that includes instantiate. And it needs to have these three components. Arrow object, spawn object position, which is a transform, and rotation of the spawn object. You also need the reference to the rigid body 2D, because the arrow is part of the object that allows physics. Because that component is part of the arrow object, as defined in the beginning of the script. So arrow object allows physics. To get the rigid body 2D from the arrow, simply say arrow get component rigid body 2D. Write it in this syntax. And you only need one more line of code. And that is RB2D, which is how I called the rigid body. Add force. Add force requires two components. The position that the force will be added. In this case, it is the spawn object. And it has to have forward direction multiplied with the speed. That's the shooting speed and it will be the force of shooting. The last component is the force mode. Set it to impulse. Save the script and go back to Unity. Make sure to drag the prefab and add the shooting speed. As you can see, the prefab does not spawn well. There are no rotations, it always spawns at the same position and rotation. And it does not have the required gravity direction. But don't worry, to fix that you should go back to script and add physics gravity to the spawn object forward. You have to multiply it with the speed, of course. Change the force mode to force. This will apply gravity to different rotations of the triangle. Actually, it will apply the gravity to the spawn object rotation. So test it to see how it looks like. Now it works better. Make sure to set the spawn speed to a larger number. If you don't like because it's too slow and too weak to shoot the bullets. Make sure that the box collider 
in the parent object is set to is trigger because if you add this script and if it collides to some object like planet for example it will allow them to disappear but the planet needs to have its own collider along with a tag in this case you will be able to prevent this situation and make the bullets freely move through the scene so make sure that the box collider is set to is trigger if you have that option turned on and you try to shoot bullets they will fly and hit the object in the center but you can imagine a different situation you can put this object to be invisible then those bullets won't hit it anymore I have also made some changes like added some assets that will make it look like a real space shooter game instead of those simple shapes of geometry if you find this tutorial helpful like and subscribe to my channel I will post more tutorials in the future have a good day goodbye